In this episode, the South East trade winds are really starting to kick in, but that doesn't stop us exploring low and hope islets and looking for fish at reefs on the way. The last three days, the same for the next three days. As you heard, that was Cardwell to Cape Tribulation. We're actually above Cape Tribulation, I say. The further north we go, the windier it gets. <clears throat> At 25 knots north of Cairns. Low islets. Passenger ferry. <laughs> Gary's saying the low islets are quite low. Yeah. Well, the sun rises every day. Reminds me that I can rise in my way. And the sun shines down for everyone. So good to be here. I thought it would be terrible, but I mean, not very good shelter, but it's okay. And we got a mooring, I wasn't expecting that. And oh, it's a big mooring, a so. Bonus, a mooring. Yeah. So we're just heading in off the beach. There's a lighthouse here, which is very historic. And is being used by um, some eagles or egrets as a nest. We saw them there feeding yesterday. We'll see if they're in residence today. Pardon? They're not home. They must be out hunting. Maybe, maybe in the afternoon. At 10 o'clock we hauled off north in order to get without a small low island is how Lieutenant James Cook described low isles in 1770. So what do you think of the whole lighthouse idea? Yeah. See the important thing for us is the code. Flashes 10 seconds for 0.8 of a second. Eclipse 9.2 of a second. Every lighthouse apparently has, well we should know and we do, has a different different light code. Very important if your charts aren't working. If your Electronic chart charts aren't yeah. working. <laughs> it's a cone shell. That's not the cone that's incredibly poisonous, is it? It is. They're that poisonous, they, they could kill you if it's the one. Oh, I'm not sure. Or there might be one in the species that does that, but there's one cone shell that's incredibly toxic. Reminds me that I can shine just like the sun and shine for everyone. Looks like a juvenile reef shark. It's only a little fella. It'll grow up to be a big one now. Well, the sun rises every day To remind us all That we can rise 
I must be on my own. <laughs> Remind us all that we can shine, shine like the sun, and shine for everyone. Well, we left uh, Low Islet and um, <laughs> we're beautiful morning and we're sailing to East Hope Islet where we hope, hope, <laughs> hope to get some snorkeling and some fishing in. Yeah, and that the, the weather, the wind might drop off a bit. We'd like some wind today and then drop off this afternoon, please. Yeah. The vagabonds, we surprised them with our early start. They're pretty quick to get going. So we've got the Vagabonds, Bernadette and Joel from Force. And then behind them, still at anchor, is the Billaroos, Perry and Sue. Is the bird hanging around the lure? Yeah, the birdie after our lure. Please don't take it. It would be messy. Oh. Don't dive on it. He's off! Holy dooly! What? Two babies. Oh no! Oh, the bloody idiots! God! Get out of it! Wind exactly behind us again. 180 degrees. It's the Sally's trade. <clears throat> okay, that's what we expect. Awesome. Wing on wing. Just like sun. a course change we're going to go to Undine Reef uh, it's not listed as a great anchorage but it uh, looks all right on the chart love to get another trout or two and a couple of crays we'd like to just get at least well we've only had one snorkel on the whole reef the sou'easters have just been caning us um, and, uh, they're starting to get up but we might get a couple of hours here probably have to move on. That's where we're heading. Undine Reef. Uh, yeah, we looked around and in Lucas. Y yeah, it's largely uncharted, but the western end is charted. 10 miles off Cape Tribulation doesn't offer good protection from sow easterlies. Doesn't it said, didn't it? Or? That's what I just said. Yeah. And it, it doesn't, or it doesn't, okay. It's nearly 10 miles off Cape Tribulation and does not offer good protection from sow easterlies. Because it sounds uninviting in the guidebooks, probably not many people go out here. So it could be good fishing. A bit of noise in the background, we've got the generator going. Because of the cloudy skies, the solar panels just haven't been pumping in the power and our trusty chap wanted to give us an alert this morning. Trawler crossing our bow, look. <laughs> I 
started sailing up to the next reef north, which is Mackay Reef, and it reckons you can anchor there in fairly shallow water on a sandy bottom. There's still what Alan Lucas calls coral gonkers, bombies, I guess, but um, we'll see how we go there. It was a very beautiful spot with much beautiful coral. Enormous clams and many of them, just enormous and beautiful. And a nice spot, tempted to stay, but it's not really a recommended anchorage. This is loose. How was that, Gary? Oh, we got some fish. At last one prey, but I couldn't get him. Had three goes at him. I got my hand right up in there, and I had a hold of him, but I just couldn't get him out. Couldn't get him out. The beautiful fish. It's very that pretty, isn't he? Five star. about the guts. What's that one again, Gary? It's a fish. Big fish. With pouty lips. These parrot fish are five star eating. Five out of five. Booby. Booby booby. Face is booby. I don't like taking pictures at the back end of you. Hello, beautiful. Well, the sun rises every day Reminds me that I can rise in my way And the sun shines down for everyone Reminds me that I can shine Just like the sun and shine for everyone and shine for Bar open Well the sun rises every day To remind the soul Cheers. And the sun shines down for everyone. To remind us all that we can shine, shine like the sun, and shine for everyone. Shine for everyone Just like the sun Just like the sun There's not a footprint on the sand Shine for everyone Delightful, particularly on the sheltered side of the island, which is where we are now We'll go around the other side and show you what that's like as well. Just like the sun Yeah. 
<laughs> they, they have uh, not the uh, same bones. <laughs> There's a few, maybe, but this, no, this, this is parrot fish. Parrot fish. Yeah, parrot. The blue parrot. Uh, blue? Yeah, blue. Yeah, yes. I, I saw, yeah. I saw. And the seed is, is it caraway? A little. Yeah, I need to buy some. It goes so well with the fish. Yes, this is Bernadette's cooking segment. <laughs> <laughs> Bernadette's kitchen. Yeah. Merci beaucoup. Gary's learning French. Merci. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Bonjour. Bonjour. Oh. Au revoir. Au revoir. Au revoir. Goodbye. German beer. beer. And we are dressed in. <laughs> and we are dressed in the latest of yachting. Is it because um, wet weather gear? Just to cut the wind a little bit because the wind is still bloody hooting through at about 25 knots, although it's sheltered this side of the island. But the trip here in the dinghy is a bit like Invited the, um, everyone else in the Anchorage to join us, but yeah, they're not up for it. It doesn't look that bad from here, but once you're out there, it's pretty bumpy. And we just got out one of the trawlers and got 20 bucks worth of prawns, probably a kilo and a half. Like big kingies and tigers. Yeah, frozen. Otherwise, we'd be hoofing into them right now. But, um, That'll be nice tomorrow in Cooktown. Gary's making wings. So Gary's making wings. Oh, they are coming. Yay, Elas is coming. Gary calls them the Swiss family Robinson because they're a Swiss family. Her name's Claudia. I can't remember his name. It's not Sven. Um, All Swiss men are Sven, aren't they? <sighs> You're thinking of Swedish. Same thing, isn't it? Yeah. Like when we were going to Thailand and Gary kept saying Taiwan. <laughs> Hopefully, travel will broaden his mind. All the same over there. Join us for our next episode when SV Zephyr rides the South East trade winds to Cooktown, wild and windy capital of far north Queensland. Just like Captain Cook, we get marooned there for longer than we would like.